I don't want nobody to think of me as a victim because I lived my life every single day as if I was perfectly healthy. And I thank TikTok for that because it was my likes and my views and the comments that helped me through it. So I appreciate y'all, not to mention, I do love my wife. She has been a big support and she never backed down. No matter what it was, she never backed down. And y'all, she has a TikTok too. Her name, her name is Amber Whitfield, but this is not goodbye. This is, I'll see y'all later. He is saying that his doctor is doing is highly illegal and could affect the clinic negatively. So I, I just want to ask some questions and I was wondering, you know, if there was anything that you needed from me as far as what you can do about it. They confirmed with me that he hadn't had a point, an appointment with the doctor he claims to see since November of 2021. Wow. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this story. It was unfolding over the weekend and I was keeping a very close tab on it, including the lives that were also going on. Six months to live because the cancer was, was spreading faster than expected. Then he would be claiming to go to appointments, um, which would take less than 30 minutes or 30 to 45 minutes total for him to leave the house, go to the appointment, have the procedures done, have tests run, talk to the doctor and get home. He was claiming that the cancer had spread to his lungs, that he was only going to have a couple of weeks to live, that he needed to make um, arrangements and this, that and the other, that he was going to name me his power of attorney because I was being so nice and letting him stay here. It is to do with this guy called Jamie Whitfield and his wife called Amber and basically it transpires that this whole entire time that Jamie has been on TikTok he's actually been lying about having I think it was stage four cancer um in the end he basically came on over the weekend and he made a video stating that he has like one or two days to live my wife got a call from my doctor and the cancer is clogging the arteries going to my heart. And I have anywhere from today to tomorrow before my heart stops. And instantly everyone on TikTok started gifting, started like crying, started giving the last of their like 20 quid, $20, $20 whatever to this man. Now, I was not too familiar with Jamie before this all happened. He basically, the video that I just shared with you just then, I didn't share its entirety, but you can go and find it over on TikTok. It's about like four or five minutes long, hence the reason why I didn't show all of it. But before all of this happening, he, yeah, would be going on TikTok and saying that he does have stage four cancer and he has, um, has you know, basically like a real terminal illness. And tugging on the heartstrings of people who can sympathize people who have lost those to cancer people who have cancer themselves and it's a really horrible situation when you have people who are willing to go to these depths in order to get money just want y'all to know that no matter what y'all go through in life don't ever give up always fight Now, unbeknownst to Jamie and Amber, the lady who actually owns the house in which they recorded that video in, she's called Shell Bell. And within, I don't even know, like hours after Jamie posting that video, Shell Bell came on to basically say that she had actually rung up the clinic. And I told them that the office manager did state that they are gonna reach out to their legal team because what he is doing is he is not only dragging Dr. Regan through the mud with all of these lies because he's basically he's basically claiming to everybody that this doctor that he sees is doing illegal things which could backfire on her and she didn't even do anything wrong and when i when i confronted them about this like they did not he, he's been sweet i will say like he just said yes i'm leaving the house so he basically just said um I said, look, bud, I tried. I wish you the best, but I'm not gullible and I can't take care of you. Please don't make this harder than it has to be. And then he just said, I'm not. We will leave peacefully as you ask and respect you. Thank you. All of this other stuff started coming out. The reasoning as to why they moved into the house in the very first place, why the wife and kids were there as well. And a lot of people were rightfully extremely angry. And 
Shell Bell basically went on to say that he not only lied about having cancer, but he also was a pathological liar. This is the pictures that he sent me on January 25th of this car that he was supposed to get, okay? And then also here is him saying like his legs hurt and me saying, what do you need? He needs help getting up. Like he like was really pulling strings with me, like pretending that he couldn't get up and this, that and the other, right? Um, but anyway, so this is the car that he said that he was supposed to get, and every time that he said that he was going to get it, like at one point he was supposed to fly to, out to go get it, and then he couldn't fly because of the cancer treatment, this, that, and the other, um, and then the guy was supposed to deliver it. This guy here is the actual owner of the car um, that he was supposed to get and that was supposed to deliver the car. And after finding the car and realizing this car was custom made for this man, and it was a father-son project, um, I started to suspect that he was lying about the car because he also claims that he has millions of dollars in like inheritance, this, that, and the other, and you know, that he was gonna take care of my bills and stuff like that for taking care of him on hospice and whatnot. It was just lots and lots of things that were not making any sense, but prior to them moving into the room in her house, um, they hadn't paid rent on their last accommodation for about four months. And basically, Shell Belt took Jamie in because she'd known him or uh, about him for a couple of years, close ties within families. And he was playing on the fact that Shell Bell had also been diagnosed with some sort of a esophageal cancer. Um, I believe she is in remission, if I've got that one right. And she just wanted to help. She wanted to help them. She basically gave them a room. She said, you know what? If Amber, the wife, works, I will stay and look after Jamie. I will also look after the children so that you don't have to pay for childcare, yeah? Really tugging on the fact that she would sympathise with Jamie. But it was about a month in. I think, if I've got the timeline right, of Jamie and his wife and everyone moving in, that things just started to get really weird. Now, February is when Amber and I confronted him in the bedroom, um, and I have videos of that, of where he was saying he was going to buy me a house, and I was like, look, no, you're dying, dude, like, focus on dying, and Amber, and then him telling Amber that he bought her a house, and all this, that, and the other, but yet he didn't have the money to pay for rent, and everything like that. Then, when he was in the bedroom and, and talking about how the cancer had spread to his lungs, all of a sudden it was no longer his lungs, the cancer had spread to his kidneys and he was going to need dialysis and that he was going to end up in a wheelchair and that he had 24 hours to decide if he wants to get hooked up to a dialysis machine. Then, two days later, two day, two days later, it was... Um, oh no, I could, the doctor said now I can have chemo. Then it was, I can't have chemo because the hole in my heart got bigger. Now, to make matters even stranger, um, Shell Bell had actually sat Jamie down with his wife to confront Jamie on the fact that things were not making sense. And um, she actually does share some of those leaked audios. I have money. I have enough money to buy every person in my entire life a brand new vehicle and houses. <laughs> If I want. No. I do. I, I bought you a house yesterday. I'm buying her a house. A new house. The same thing. No, 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 no. So why are you doing that? Personally, I can't quite work out whether or not Amber is in on this or she just genuinely believes him. It's all... For me, it's all very confusing, but the consensus is that maybe she believed him at first, but now she knows that it's really a hoax, he doesn't really have cancer, and that she's now just going along with it in order to get money. Either way, it's a very strange and confusing situation that we would have no idea. Like, we would have genuinely have believed him and given him a load of money along with his wife had the homeowner not had actually spoken out. Apparently, he had a billionaire father figure who took him in and ran a record company business his name was willie and that he had faked his death a few months ago and he had inherited the millions but then when they found him alive they all the money had to be returned because you can't own dead man's money or a live man you know what i mean um and that then all of a sudden he was alive and he was giving him like he bought the car he bought the house he bought this that and the other and then last week when he was supposed to drop off a seven thousand dollar check so that they could pay for february's more or february's rent he suddenly had a heart attack and died so 
And to really add fuel to the fire, um, Facebook relatives of Jamie have spoken up, such as his uncle saying, I am his uncle and he does lie a lot. There was also someone on who knows him very, very well saying, um, I treated you like a son and helped you when your own son was born, yet you still lied to my face repeatedly. Have you heard of the boy who cried wolf? What is wrong with you and your fictional wife? You create a private TikTok account without adding friends or family. We all know you are full of it. You claim to have cancer just to get views on social media. Come on, Jamie why would you do something so heartless people suffer from this disease every day and by the way where are the pictures on your new tiktok profile that's okay though he was a good mother and soon to be stepdad who will always be there for him since you uh, and kind of goes on to more like family related things as far as your alleged cancer goes i'll believe it when i see some documents sounds like i don't know how he's related to the person but like they just said you know he basically set up a TikTok account where he blocked friends and family so they couldn't actually see what was going on. Now, a lot of people, and I don't want to speculate and throw these kind of things out, but it has been said in a live that Shell Bell did, there were a lot of doctors and people who were nurses and people who um, were in remission or struggling of cancer or have family, deceased ones um, and all of that. They were saying that it looks very much like addiction, like maybe he has some form of substance abuse. And once again, I don't really want to speculate on that kind of thing. But if I had to give that a yes or no, I would potentially say yes, just because a lot of the things that you see um, in his lives or in his videos, I don't know. I feel like either, yes, pathological liar or maybe someone who is struggling with substance abuse. But that is just me. And who am I to say? And you need to grab that paperwork one on your, your discharge paperwork on your way out. Now, in an absolutely hilarious turn of events, so his wife, Amber, has been on TikTok and has been posting all of these screenshots. And not only are these like case reports, appointments, whatever from, I think, yeah, like 12th, 20, 2023, so last year, but what they were basically describing is acid reflux. And we already know that he was diagnosed with a very serious case of acid reflux that that's already been confirmed but there are loads of, you know, nurses in the comment section who are basically just saying, yep. This is not cancer, this is acid reflux. People are also pointing out that on the documents it says no future follow-ups. Um, so yeah, basically everything that they were saying, they're now trying to prove the fact that he is in hospital. But I bet you anything, those pictures were taken when he was last in hospital and that was for um, acid reflux. So yeah, they're not really proving anything. I really do find it sickening how people will lie and trust me a lot of people have lied about this kind of stuff especially over on tiktok they go live they get a bunch of gifts they get a load of things sent to them they have their cash apps their venmos or whoever whatever and people want to help amber said all the rumors being told is baffling and comical i promise you there is no report that has been made we called directly and they have reported they have no clue what is going on i'm gonna continue to post and i will continue to be attacked and it is okay i just hope and pray when the truth does come out you already understand that you'll attack us for showing no proof yet the videos being posted and people making videos about is still not providing documents or evidence but um I, she did say that she hadn't had an appointment with her specifically since november of 2021 she didn't give an exact date or anything like that and then um i then she's the one that said that i should talk to the office manager the only questions that i asked is if it, if um, a doctor could administer chemo pills, she told me that the doctor would not have access to chemo pills, um, let alone would it be legal for them to drop them off. It was this whole situation where Jamie was basically claiming that a nurse dropped a chemo pill off through a window or something so that he could get it when that is illegal a lot of doctors and nurses were saying that that isn't allowed doctors can't just randomly go and drop you off things and roaches but you know he's gone i would like to see after a few weeks or maybe a month what happens Me too. i just I'm, don't I'm understand how you can lie to the world about that that's it's just unbelievable this has all just gotten so messy and amber and jamie are denying the fact that 
like any of this is false. They are still firmly on the grounds that this is real. This is what's happened when there is just so much evidence now to say Jamie is in fact lying. And it's not only that, but when Jamie was telling his story, um, a lot of doctors and nurses were pointing out that it didn't make any sense. A lot of the stuff that he was saying just was completely nonsensical, like completely nonsensical. Didn't make any sense from a biological standpoint. And the treatments that he said he was then being given and things were also not making any sense as well. And anyone from a health practitioner's point of view could have could have listened to that and gone, yes, that, that's not true. To me, when I listened to it, I have no knowledge on the subject, so I would have been none the wiser. But to people that actually know, they would have been able to pinpoint what exactly was false about what they were saying. My aortic valve in my heart was damaged. It had a small hole in it and they wanted to do valve replacement on me. And then after we were supposed to go on February the 10th, two days before my birthday and have surgery on it, I started chemo on February the 1st to get it in my system to start fighting the infection that I had. I took chemo and it elevated my heart rate from normal to about 180 to 190. And it made the hole bigger. And my heart couldn't couldn't handle if they done valve replacement on me because it would cause me to have a massive heart attack. And after that, they had to stop chemo. Week after, we found out that it, it was in my veins and moving to my heart. And there was no stopping it. Now, obviously anyone would naturally want to help um and the the weird thing is is that the wife he still to this very day can't quite work out if she's in on it or if she really is so like wound up mentally by him that she just doesn't want to believe that it's not true but the fact that his his friends and family have outwardly spoken and said that it's not true his own that the actual homeowner has said that a lot of things were not adding up and that he's a pathological liar. He lies about a lot of things and, you know, he has been asked to leave. The whole thing is just incredibly fishy and I really can't quite work out if Amber even know like i don't know i really don't know i to be honest with you i kind of feel like she does know but she's just playing along with it but either that or she's a really good actress because she would have thought that they were being serious there because of the way that she was reacting to what he was saying again january 30th i think he's fucking with me like playing with my emotions poor me car for a place to stay because he did offer me another truck because he didn't end up getting his dad's this that and the other and you know this is where you know i had first started putting things together but i do find this absolutely mind-boggling that they, that basically jamie had moved in in january it's not even march yet and all of this had happened you think that people like this like to play on the goodness of other people such as them you know making up all of this stuff for such a long time for the sake of getting money over on tiktok you know lying to the homeowner to the point where she is willing to assist him uh, be a carer look after the children so that his wife can work the whole thing is extremely sad but unfortunately these kind of people do exist now i do know that there are a few people that are kind of questioning why shell bell has all this evidence why was she recording why was she recording conversations and to be honest with you i don't actually blame her for doing so because if you start to suspect that some things are not adding up um and you're worried for your safety or you're worried for other people's safety of course you're going to start saving things um i don't think that that is a strange thing to do i think if people have been stuck in very toxic situations within their own home they do start to take screenshots take recordings amount evidence because people like that can it can like literally feel like you're going crazy like it can literally feel like you're going crazy and unless you actually keep the evidence you are just gonna like they'll end up gaslighting you into thinking things are real when really they're not but that is my two cents and i feel like that is probably the reasoning why she started to collect all this evidence i don't think it was like a gotcha moment i think she was genuinely just trying to help them and then letting tiktok know that it is not true because can you imagine if she never came on and let any of like anyone know um it would have just been a bit of a catastrophe but then maybe the friends and family would have figured it out sooner rather than later either way this whole story has been so bizarre i don't know where they are right now but 
safe to say is that Jamie is still alive. So, you know, his whole I've got one day or how many to live um, is not true. I mean, friends and family confirm that he doesn't. He's just lying. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And I will catch up with you guys in the next video.